Hello my friends, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, September 13th, 2022. This is Jennifer. It is glorious to see you guys today. I am COVID free. I tested negative near the end of last week and I, while I still have a bit of a cough and a bit of a frog in my throat, everything else is okay. I feel better, my energy level is back and I can taste things again. So thank you all for your well wishes and for listening to me talk about that. I do not have an enormous amount to show you guys because I was still pretty low energy most of last week. The primary thing that I did was pull quilt back. You may remember that I made 25 quilt tops at BFF retreat and then I had quilt tops from Susan, from Crystal, from Kathy Kay and I had uh, I still had a quilt top from Abby and I had the um, Doctor Who quilt top from Jeannie. So all told that was 49 quilt tops. I was able to put backs with about I don't know 15 to 18 something like that of the tops that were just a piece of yardage. Like some of the smaller quilts I just needed a piece of yardage. I used all of my Linus yardage. I pulled it all out. Um, some of it ended up being my yardage. I just decided to get backs paired together with all of those tops because it makes getting to the quilting part so much easier. So uh, I took all the ones that I paired that were ready to go and they are hanging in my garage. Um, I, keep, I keep them under a, a sheet but they're in my garage ready to go because that's where my frame is. I think I got seven backs pieced. I had put all the fabric with the tops that needed to be pieced, so I'm just kind of do them, doing them one at a time as I have the chance. And I still have a huge stack, because I mean, if you do the math, I had about 15 or so that had backs ready to go, and then I did seven more that were pieced. There were 49 total, so that I still have a lot of backs to piece. But that's a lot of quilts that I can quilt now. And uh, while the energy is returning, we've been working on the garage a little bit, and getting some things put away and some things rearranged and that is a huge help because I haven't quilted since before I broke my foot. Actually I quilted the day I broke my foot but I didn't know it was broken but that's a whole other story. It's been it's been months. It's been months since I quilted so I'm really excited to get back to that. So that's a lot of tell. I do have a little bit of show. I thought I would have um, a crocheted blanket finished to show you guys. It is almost finished. Um, I had planned to finish it yesterday and then we had a DIY crisis. Uh, my kitchen faucet started leaking and I had to replace it and the replacement was leaky so I had to replace that. So it basically ate up my entire day instead of it being like a fairly simple home repair. And I'm the one who does that kind of stuff in our house so it was it was a lot yesterday. But anyway I didn't finish my crochet blanket which is kind of the point of that. So back in July when I went to see Amber in Illinois, um, I started a blanket so that I had something to work on in the airport. And I also crocheted on it when I was hanging out with her. And at the time, the only yarn that I had left was yarn that I had bought for a sweater in 2020 that I never made. Um, you guys probably remember if you're following me in 2020, that's when I had foot surgery and I was non-weight bearing and I crocheted constantly because I couldn't really sew. This is the yarn. I'm holding it like this because it's about half empty. So it's a lime brand cupcake. This colorway is called Sandcastle. And so this is actually like, you can see, this is a very lightweight yarn. Um, what are we looking at here? Does it say? Yeah, it just is lightweight. The last time I showed you guys crochet, I was working on corner to corner. And that's what I did on this because it was fresh in my mind. So this is the most finished part of this. It, it's taken a long time because it is a very lightweight yarn, but it's really soft and lightweight. Here's the edge that I've finished. I still have three more of those to do. Linus is on Saturday, so I will get this finished and photographed before Saturday. So I will try to remember to throw some pictures in next week so you can see it all done. But anyway, this is almost done. As I said, I got derailed yesterday by plumbing. Um, I decided to meet you guys on this side of the wall because I haven't been over here in a while. This was where my old design wall was before I redid the sewing room. And this is my to-do list. And I wanted to share it with you today because I actually reconfigured it. It used to be like one, two, one, two, one, two. But these, these guys right here, they were behind my door when the door was open. And so I could never see them. 
and that's my finish. This one is, that's my finish, so I could never see it. And so I, I peeled them off and I moved them over. They're just peel and stick and they peeled off just fine and stuck back just fine. So I'm really pleased with that. This is the top of my fabric dresser, so I got some odds and ends over here. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys how many things I have actually finished this year, which these are all personal projects. I keep track of my line of stuff somewhere else. So this is all of my charity stuff on another list and then all my personal projects. So it feels really good just to see those accumulate as the year kind of starts winding down. I did mention that Linus is on Saturday. Silent Auction is next month. And if you guys have followed me for any length of time, you know that that means the busy season is here. Um, I have recruited my son and we are gonna go and sort through all of the Silent Auction stuff that is in storage. Finally, I mean, it's cooling down here. It's still 90 degrees every single day, but it's better than 106. And being in a metal storage unit when it's that hot is just, it's not tenable. So we're gonna start sorting all that out. And the, the Pflugerville Quilt Guild, their ladies are amazing. The ladies that come to Linus, they are gonna be helping make all the baskets this year. They helped me last year and they did a phenomenal job. And so that is gonna be upcoming. I have things like, I have, to, I have sewing machines I need to test to make sure they work. And there are lots of big objects. I need to figure out what all we have. So that is it for real guys. You guys have a wonderful week. Have a crafty week. I hope you're well. Take care and I will see you next week. Bye.